Alrighty. Yes, finally. I did a whole spiel on all these good reasons, and it wasn't recording that whole time. I had to make sure it's recording now. Gosh, I made a lot of good points. But this message is to Michael Bidwell. Hope it goes viral. Don't change what can't be broken or what's not. We, were, we ranked six in defense last year for good reason. We did the 3-4. Don't come in and do 4-3. When you got the 3-4, the linebackers can keep the middle field harder to get through, and those linebackers can work as a blitzer. Whereas if you're doing 4-3, it's guaranteed for blitzing, right, or rushing, which keeps an extra man less that would have been there if you did the 3-4, which is why the middle of the field's empty. Cardinals have good coverage. It's just their linebacking thing sucks because you're doing the 4-3. Four, 3-4 three. Three, four is more effective. Gives you more options. Again. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so the, the Rams, much respect to them, I get basically said, because, you know, all three of their touchdowns, they did three two-point conversions, and they converted, pretty much saying your defense sucks in your face. This is our division, which I, I called it from the beginning. They're the favorites. Much respect for them. And then when they're winning at the end, 33-0, they didn't want to shove it down their face more because it's obviously won. They kicked a field goal. That's a class win by the Rams, and I give them credit there. You know, seriously, you know, dominate them. And as far as Cardinals losing, better to lose big because that's the best way you learn. Seriously. So, guys, they have chance. They have potential. Do some of these things I'm telling you. Hire me for free. Let, let me know the ins and outs of the game. And pretty much I was mentioning how I was good at chess, okay? I see patterns and stuff, and I feel I can help the Cardinals win. I could be a guy that just, you know, gives my opinion to both sides. Pros of this, cons of that. What's the pros and cons? Do pros outweigh the cons? That's a good move to do. Like, why not? Just hear me out. I mean, come on, guys. You're already 0-2. You're not going to do anything. <clears throat> Even if you win four in a row, that's just a streak. you got to lose one, which puts you four and three. And four and three is not good. Uh... Five and two is better, or four and two. But nonetheless, it's pretty much over when you lose these first two games. Mathematically, it's just too hard. But I was saying, Coach Steve Wilkes is good. His aggression, his voice, he's, he's very analytical. Let him just do the defense and hire someone to just do the offense. If someone specializes in one thing, they can be better on that because that's what they know. Don't have them do too many things. I know when Mike McCoy made that crap, he called it down the ball nine seconds and half before halftime. Cardinals could have done a Hail Mary and get a free play. You know what I'm saying? At least build momentum into the next half when you get the ball back. But no, you just down it like you sell your offense, you give up. But Steve Wilkes had to approve that, right? Because he's the head coach. He should have refuted and say, no, do Hail Mary. Golly. So again, I feel I can make some good changes. And if any of you agree that I should help make some decisions or kind of maybe work with the Cardinals, I'm just saying... And I also mentioned too in my video, get an indoor facility where uh, the players can practice, do more reps, train harder, get better workouts in. When they're doing it in the heat, they're sweating more, their legs are cramping, they, can't, they, they overexert, so they're not getting as many reps and practices put up. So an indoor facility, by spending money, will make you have a winning team which sells more jerseys, concession stands, whatever. They pay a little for infrastructure so players can get more reps and whatnot. They could adjust the temperature of a team they're getting pre prepared to play in a cold weather. You know, straight up just invest in some freezers. Imitate the weather to prepare before you play in that weather. You guys can do that. I'm, I'm telling you, that's how you do it. That's how you get it done. Uh, and then, like I said, man, you, just, you can get more reps in and stuff. So again, I would like to work for Arizona Cardinals. My name is Sean Kuzmik, if Michael Biddle wants to contact me. But uh, I think it would be a cool thing to just, like I said, give my two cents on the matter. I'll do it for free. I don't care. Uh, it's about winning, right? And that's what we need to bring to the state is more wins. So, all right, guys. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this video. Have a good night. Bye.